Fellas, I think it's time for some no fence riders. We have already oh, divided yeah. ourselves here on politics. You don't want to argue about politics Do we have, anymore? That I, yellow, I that yellow have card one. is going to be devastating. <laughs> like, we need, need a red card, too. We need a red card. Hold on, Jason. What do you, you ask you receive, sir? Look at that. You okay. Look, Look at that. Card. You just can't see it behind the background on the cardboard, so we went with yellow, but we may have to make two. Uh, you guys ready for some no fence riders? <laughs> Let's do it. Browns sure. offseason edition. I had to call my answers up. I forgot them already. I don't a remember lot, what I answered. By the way, I, I didn't either. besides Jason and Tyvis, who agreed on every single answer, Which a lot fun. of disagreements here between us. So this should these be were, fun. These were kind of tough. No, they were. I thought they were easy. I, did you? I thought I, there tough. were some of these I'm like, who knows? Uh, yeah, I, I, was I think tough. I know, but. I yeah. thought they were easy. All right, let's go. And this is, this is I'm going to tap myself on the back. Halfway decent producing for once on my end because it's going to lead us right into Mary Kay, who hopefully will have some great insight on what's going on. So question number one, Steve. <laughs> I mean, the pre-pat yourself on the back before it's been accomplished. <laughs> right. seems well, a these are good off, questions, go at least the questions. Bull is Mary Jones people today. Time is Paul confident. <laughs> give, me them, give, me, give me your medals back, Mary. <laughs> and I went true or false yesterday, by the way, for everyone who wasn't Did you here. really? I did. Wow. I did. In the worst true or false ever. Oh, ooh. Anthony's Sorry, questions. Anthony ooh. asked a question: Was Nick Chubb's combine time the fastest ever by a running back? He really did. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> but we love Anthony. We love it. Okay, question number one. Poor Anthony. They did it last year by acquiring Deshaun Watson. This year, will the Browns make a significant trade this offseason? And Jay, you said no. Yeah, I did because <clears throat> everyone else said yes. My definition of significant is a pro, uh, an all, a perennial All Pro player. Well, not that's, do that. and that's where I think we can debate is what significant, what is, is significant, what is significant to me, significant is significant. Well, Amari, difference making Amari Cooper was a significant. Yes, trade he to was. Me last not, yes, he's he was been an all pro. No, I but I would, I would say that, you know, it's like that we talked about it before the Supreme Court's definition of pornography. Right. I don't know. I don't have one, but I know it when, know I, when I see, you it. see it. Yeah. yeah. When, when I, I see the trade player, like if it's a like an, this is a the bad way I, the way I thought of it. If it's a seventh round pick for a guy that most of us have to Google to figure out who he is, that's not, not even that. But it, it can't even be a name that we all know. It's got to be a guy that makes us get excited. It's a difference making player. That's yes. how I think about yes. it. And I think they will either trade for a starting, a quality starting wide, a good starting wide receiver, or a good starting defensive tackle. I, I and See, it my, may not be a Pro Bowler. But I think it'll at least be somebody that's now could potentially be. That's a where the definition comes in because I I don't care if they trade for a starting wide receiver, are are that's, that's not hard. That's not gonna be hard to do, because we've got we've you know we've got a lot of room yeah. But to if you traded there. for a, a Brandon Cooks, Sig that's that would be significant. Yeah. Yes. So that's what I'm talking throw, about. If they get I'm Cook, saying that if they level, get Brandon Cooks, I think yes, they will I'm make wrong. that level of trade. I, I, I hope think, they do. I think they have too many needs and too many holes to fill them all in free agency and the, the draft. Yes. Therefore, yes. they have to make a trade. Yes. I agree with you that I they have it. to. I'm just not convinced they're going to do it. I love everything that happens with the Browns with have to on it. I have to get this. I yes. love it. Yeah, <laughs> and they have to do it. They They've do. got too many needs and not enough draft capital to get it done. You're all so. in on Deshaun Watson, it's, and it's a disaster if it fails. You have to do everything you can to make him better and to supplement him on this team both all ways. Right. What's, what's Go, next? Mikey. Now, we Question can revisit number this two. as it happens. We'll Question decide if it's two. significant or That's not. That's right. Yes. Will the Browns cut somebody that sends Browns Twitter into an uproar? I am lone on the fence here. I said yes. Who's Everyone your else player? Said no. Well, I just figured the Browns Twitter goes into uproar or on anything. If Kevin Stefanski sneezes, he didn't sneeze the right nah. way. Browns Twitter goes we, crazy. We're not very, we're not do you have a player in mind? Can you even throw yeah, up? Yeah, I actually do. I and Jason's going to disagree, but I, I think there's a chance Wyatt Teller is a cut this no season. Chance. Based no on guys they bring in and have too much money. No, he's got too much guaranteed money. He did not have a good no. year last year, but he you can't cut him. He's it's, got I mean, it, it's punitive it, if you do. I mean, and you've just created another hole. Why would you cut? They wouldn't cut him anyway, even if they for some reason wanted to get rid of him. If, Je trade him, if Jedrick Wills is getting an extension and Conklin's here for life, Teller's not no, going nowhere. Listen, they should not cut him. I'm saying I think if they trade for a DeAndre Hopkins and they have – too much money, and they can't just cut 13 guys for a million each, and they have to look at one of these guys for significant nah, money. They're not I think Teller happens. coming off injury off his worst season in as, a, as a Brown would be the guy that they would cut. Uh, I think that's Mike's worst did, take in 10 months. Did JJ3 send anyone <laughs> into an uproar? I don't think no. so. No. And but that was expected. There's was no expected. player bigger than him getting cut. Yeah, but I, I, I would agree with that. Yeah, yeah I, I, I don't see it It's okay. I'm, a, I'm on the long it's side okay. of the fence Stand here. alone, bro. Then again, it's to okay. be fair to Mike, it would be a move that none of us expected. Right. That would like, get oh us my God, they just cut. But, but who is, 
They're not cutting Miles. They're not cutting no. Nick. They're not cutting Deshaun. I don't even know that if they cut Teller, it would force an uproar on Twitter. I don't. We're not because that, he's not coming off a great year. We're not high on the I, roster. I actually agree with no. Mike that it would, but I don't think there's any chance it's going to happen. It's not happening. No. no. I don't think it will okay. either, but no. I, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't be in an What's uproar. What's the definition of an uproar? <laughs> Fair. Fair. Okay. How well, many this people one, have to get angry for it, it to officially be an uproar? It has to be a significant uproar. <laughs> That's so this one, I told you guys before the show, yeah. I didn't want to get into in Stefanski because it was a question. We got into it a little bit. And there is a split here. Will the Browns sign a quarterback in free agency? And we touched on this a little bit earlier, but as the fence be fallen... Jay and I are on one side saying they will not sign a quarterback. I do have a caveat to mine. No, I don't Jason think they're going to spend a lot of money on a quarterback. I said yes. I, yeah, I don't either. Yeah. But I think they're going to th- – what will happen, in my view, is they'll bring in two undrafted quarterbacks after the draft is over. And I don't consider that signing a free agent. That is not. That's no, draft. that's I not. I mean, that's, that's – no, it's not a draft pick. But it's an undrafted guy. That's I mean, not that, a free agent – like a free agent No, sign. you're right. No, He's no, agreeing no, with you. He's agreeing with you. It's a free agent pickup. Yeah, you know, it's it's but but I don't I'm not going to count that as a move to me. It would be you sign a free agent that's existing in the league. I think that's what they're going to do is a cheap veteran, a cheap veteran backup. I would. Yeah, I think. And and if Kellen Mond proves that he can handle the job, all the better. Yeah. Then cut the veteran, whoever you sign. If it's if it's not for the guy that he's in Detroit now, we had him a couple of years ago. Oh, I uh, like the the Purdue quarterback, right? Yes, yes, yes. I, I like it. He's the guy that did the magic trick. Yeah. Oh, his name just Purdue fell out of my quarterback? head. Yeah, I he liked him a Purdue. lot. He went they to traded Detroit. Him. They traded him in a seven for like another seven or yeah, a six or yeah. something. But I, I liked him. I thought when he played, I thought he showed David real Blatt. Compo- Blatt. Yeah, 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 I said That's Blatt. It. That yeah. Blatt was it, a Blatt. NBA player. You think it's David Blatt? Yeah, he showed composure. He had a nice arm. He made good reads. Yeah. Uh, and I think he's played some in Detroit and played well, if I'm not mistaken. Does he have a regular season line from last year? Uh, David Blau, give me one sec. Guys, you got to hear this. Dysfunction with a Browns rival is always nice. Doesn't happen very often, but here Ra- you oh, go. Oh, the Ravens DaCosta comment? Yeah, so Eric DaCosta, the GM of the Ravens yesterday, said, talked about why they've had a problem with wide receivers for right. Lamar. And he said, if I had an answer, that would probably mean I would have some better receivers. We're going to keep swinging. Well... Rashad Bateman, who was a second-round pick but missed most of last year due to injury. Well, I actually think he's a decent player, but he's been hurt. I thought he was really good last yeah. year. This is what he said. It, he tweeted this out in response to seeing the Eric DaCosta comments. Just, uh, I don't know when he tweeted this, uh, about an hour ago. How about you play to your player's strength and stop pointing the finger at us and Lamar? Blame the one you let do this. We take heat 24-7 and keep us healthy care about us and see what happens ain't no promises though tired of y'all lying and capping on players for no reason yeah wow that's interesting damn i mean ravens dysfunction lamar's pissed bateman's pissed acosta's love it ozzy's replacement yeah and he pretty much acknowledged that they have a blind spot at drafting receivers yeah he did and i i mean i don't i don't want to hijack this whole segment but sorry Mike, but I thought that was worth bringing up there for uh, some. hijack for a minute I told bull yesterday Burrow's gonna get done I don't think Deshaun's I don't think Lamar's getting done I think he's really? done in Baltimore I think he's done you said Burrow you think's gonna get done one of them Burrow's either ESPN done. or Sports yeah. Illustrated ranked the most likely deal to get done at number one was Lamar to the Ravens I don't know what they what insight they have there yeah the, uh, they the, seem very the, confident. The that feeling at the combine was Lamar is there is no negotiating going on because he's well, they told, can franchise, but him, he's told them five for two fifty, like that's it. I'm not budging off that number, which is and 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 the Ravens were pissed at the Browns yep. and they were pissed for a reason. Yep. When they did that deal with Deshaun, they were like. You just wrecked the entire league. You just reset the going price. They didn't wreck the entire league. So, but well, for some guys, interestingly enough, Andrew Barry was asked at the combine, "Do you think this is the standard, and is going to be like the new five to ten years from now? These are the norm, the guaranteed part." Of it. Yeah, and he said no. Andrew said no. He he said, "I don't have a crystal ball." He said that twice. I don't have a crystal ball, but no, I don't think so. And the other thing on Lamar, the scuttlebutt at the combine was Lamar to Atlanta makes a lot of sense. 
Yeah, because, I've heard that too. Yeah, but the, the, the hitch in that is Arthur Blank, Atlanta's owner, who Atlanta was in on Deshaun, is tight with Goodell. Like, they're, they're, that he's part of the in crew, and the NFL lost its mind over the Deshaun contract, so would Blank then give him what he wants and go to that other side. And by side. the way, if Baltimore does, then everything they were critical at Cleveland for, they're guilty of as well. Because, you know, they can buck the trend here, yeah. to your point. You, you know, if, if Barry thinks it's not going to be the new norm, and by the way, I think it is, but if it's not, then if Baltimore dives in, this yeah. is much Wait, more likely to become the new didn't trend. did we have another contract signing? Since, oh, Kyler Murray. Yeah, but Kyler Murray isn't. He wasn't that He's not caliber. That same it has year, not. Though. It has not. But what are you really, talking about? It was around, how, Kyler Murray signed for over two hundred million. The, the, Deshaun, yeah, but it, the guaranteed piece of it is the part it I'm was talking 164 about. One hundred sixty-four guaranteed, and Deshaun, that's the part I'm talking. The, about. Right, that's what I'm saying. So since then, Murray has right. not. The, yeah, the but I don't put Murray in the same class as Deshaun Watson and Lamar Jackson. Well, he got paid. I mean, he Arizona got, did, and they yeah. bet on the wrong pony. Deshaun is one of one so far in well, terms of that contract. Well, here go, here's two of two. So all it takes is a couple. Yeah. One team. So, so well, now you think Joe Burrow's not going to demand all money? I guaranteed. think I think Joe's going to take a hometown discount. And if anybody could like, do it, it's him. It's him. Or Mahomes, obviously. And, and I don't know why we didn't connect these. At least I didn't. Yeah. I was told basically they took the name off the stadium and sold it to Paycor Naming Rights to pay Joe Burrow. Yeah. Like, hmm. that's why they made that deal. So, the, the pay core money is going right into Joe's pocket. So, but that's going to get Joe, done. I'm sure he's going to say, okay, I'll give you a discount, but you better sign Higgins. Joe, I, it's, it's, I'm sure it will be. <laughs> well, yes. Cincinnati was was emphatic. We are not getting rid of T. Higgins. Yeah. You know, th- what they say, dra- go, go go find your own wide if receiver. If you want a receiver, go, go find don't come one. here. Yeah, yeah. Don't, look, don't look I here. love that quote. I love that he stands on the table like that. I, I kind of like what the Bengals are doing and this bravado that all of a sudden they're showing. And if – Burrow is smart. Who's the player he's most been compared to so Brady, far? Brady, of course. Tom Brady. You know, if he's is, smart, he watched the entire man in the arena. He knows the history. Yeah. And he understands that over 15 years, if you take $10 million less, yes, it's $150 million less. But if you win in that 10-year, 15-year span, you create an empire for life. That's what Brady's done. Yeah. Brady has already capitalized on it monetarily with his post football contract how many guys can say that they can enter a field as the highest paid person that's ever done it Brady is the highest paid NFL broadcaster ever right and he's, he's never, never even broadcast done it. a down no, that's no. unbelievable and he's done that by winning and he won by taking less so Joe Burrow's smart I think Joe Burrow is yeah. very very smart and it's bad news for the Browns because we're gonna have to deal with this kid for a yeah, he's long not going time anywhere. I don't think Lamar is long for Baltimore but I think Burrow will Spend his career in Cincinnati. I agree. All right, Mike. Got two more sorry, questions. Sorry. That actually was a really interesting pivot. Yeah. Sometimes it works out like that. Like question number point. four comes down to – wait, no. We didn't do three, Steve. Go back. We'll go back. We actually didn't get to three. Ooh. We kind of did earlier. Oh, Will the yeah. Brown side of for agency. Jay is a caveat. We did you guys said yes. Do we have to go any more of that or we skip it? We no, we, we talked about it. We did it in full. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Then yeah, next, question yeah. number four. Steve, let's take it right there. Will the Browns spend more money on a defensive lineman or a safety – and this was pretty split. Jay and, and myself said safety. Everyone else said D line. What? You got G. no G and G Bush. G, G Bush did that. Uh, me and G, G. You're right. Me and G said safety. And, and the reason I the reason I said safety, even though I don't even agree that they safety is their biggest need. I just think there's so much smoke coming from this Jesse Bates thing. Like yeah, I, I just, just think that. Like, and we know about the JJ three thing. Exactly. Got to fill that. I think yeah. Jesse Bates is going to be their big three. And, so. and so I don't agree with it, but. I mean, it just looks like it can't spend, be their it can't be their biggest. But I think they're going to spend on both, and the defensive lineman will get paid more. Safety you, safety is not a premium position. No, it's not. Either. Is. And, and spend we more know that the they are, at, and, and their luck at anybody's luck at drafting defensive linemen that come in and have impact right away. It's not an impact position it's right a, away. It's not defensive. So you got to address no. that either via trade or yeah. a free agency. And I don't disagree with you. They now have a hole at safety, and they have to sign a Bates caliber safety. That's going to be a big dollar. But they better spend more money on a defensive lineman or we're in big trouble. I was trouble. doing the math, and between the JJ3 cut and the restructuring of Watson's contract, which we all expect, they're going to have 30 to $40 million to spend, give right. or take, somewhere yeah. in that range. And I think Bates is going to get 15, 16 mil. Well, I don't think they're going to sign Bates. For all that, I don't, is, about it. I, you don't? I, I don't think You don't either. Wow. But I'm just saying that, that's my thinking, then? and that's half of their space. I mean, I thought Zach made a great point when I was talking to Zach Jackson the about place it. place from within? 
you can find a starting safety in the fourth round. It's just not a it's not a position of of premium. The Chiefs seem to do that all the time. They yeah. got to spend money on wide receiver and defensive line. I, That's where they got to spend their money. Yeah, I agree, one hundred percent. All right, last one. Will the Browns draft a wide receiver with their first pick in the draft, whether or not that's pick 42, they trade up, they trade down, just their first pick? Tyvis and Jason said yes, and Jason's mm. died on this hill before. The rest of us logically said no. Jason? I think, there's, I think they stay at 42, and I think there's a lot of depth and talent, and you can find an impact receiver in the second round. By the second round where they're picking, you probably get – maybe the fifth or sixth receiver off the board. But if you're going D-line, you're probably looking at 11 or 12 off the board in terms of depth. And I understand every draft is different, uh, but I just think that there's a lot of value at the receiver position in the second round. I think that's where they go. I just think the, the smart, you know, the Browns, like most organizations, are best player available. And so the odds are it's not going to be one spe- – I'd rather bet on the field than one specific position. Yeah, I, I would too. Um, the other thing too is we talk about the Ravens, uh, you know, having a blind spot in the draft at wide receiver. I know that DPJ was a hit late, but that was, I don't even count that. Where they spent their most draft capital, they have swung and missed so badly that they could have reloaded and swung and missed again. It was – I mean – But I it just, was also third round and below. You have yeah, – better odds of hitting when you're better, you, when you're using you do but pick. a third round receiver pick should be a difference maker i agree he should at least be able to get on the field i agree schwartz couldn't get on the field difference maker. and now I'd bell take, couldn't get I'd on take the field playable i would i would too i mean yeah. if you count well, the snaps between schwartz and bell last year yeah. now i i'm schwartz i think we're all riding off i'm willing to give bell certainly another opportunity uh, for a full year Man. but i'm completely done with schwartz and my confidence in bell is Obviously I mean, well. these, these, you, you can look at them too. They ain't no, they not no difference makers like that, man. The Browns ain't never. I said it before. You name me one receiver. We like names. I know. Please don't say Webster Slaughter and Langhorn. I get it. I like those guys, but we talk about top flight dudes. There has never been anybody that the Browns have drafted with their hands on process, developed and turned into an All Pro. Josh Gordon did it for one year. One year Nobody else. All our best receivers usually come from free agency. Oh, they haven't had many of those either. And we haven't had any of those, <laughs> right? It's just no. it, Dante Stallworth comes to mind. I mean, if you say all pro, you're you're talking about like you know, but e- top tier even, guy, but even Pro Bowl, even you're Pro about Bowl, like a top, even a top ten wide receiver, I like mean, top, the, yeah, top ten. I, yeah. I'm a top fifteen even. Yeah. So one the Browns year, haven't had. Who have they drafted and developed been a top ten receiver? I mean, Braylon Edwards had one year. Uh, you, you had uh, Josh Terrell, Gordon certainly did. For Josh Gordon had games. one year. Terrell Pryor had a year. He had a but thousand. But even he, he wasn't a top but, 10 receiver. But I, I, again, I'm assuming that they're going to stay. And, and Zach disagrees with me. Zach thinks they're trading out of 42. I think they stay to go down to, again to go up uh, to go down. <laughs> oh, to do what? But, well, that's what they do. But I think they stay at 42. That's worked well for them. Yeah. But but my point is they took Schwartz. I just looked it up. Schwartz. No, I forgot. Schwartz was 92. I think Bell was 99. The caliber receiver you should get at 42, they could screw this up, but theoretically should be, I mean, George Pickens is what we're talking about at 42. That's not going to be there at 92 or 99. Well, I, I look at it this way. If they're going to do that, fine. They still need, that could be a second tier guy, but I still need another big splash. That can't be their biggest move. That can't be the, the move. That can't just be the guy they're bringing in. I, when we look at the area of that they're desperate in, to me, it's so easy defensive line. It, wide receiver is an area of need, but defensive line is like the, the house is on fire. It's, it's a need. It's oh, for sure. Desperation. And I think that's where trade and free agency comes in. I did see a mock draft the other day from uh, it was either PFF or from McShay with four tight ends going in the first round. Well, that's which kind of is the, the best trend. thing possible for the Browns. Sure. Because teams receivers. that need pass catchers, those pass catchers are going to drop further and further down in the draft, which totally gives the Browns something special at 42. And before you do that, special, before, before you do that on the tight end front really quickly, um, this is the, the, that's the trend. That is the impact position in the NFL. The Eagles had a solid uh, tight end. Yeah, Obviously those guys the, take Chiefs, 
The Chiefs had a terrific tight end. There are some tight ends coming out, though, that they're I saying know, are NFL ready right now. But they said Kyle Pitts was going to be great. He's done nothing well, so Well, Pitts far. was a swing and a miss. I mean, you're right. I mean, they did say he I'm not writing him great. off. I think that's more I'm not writing him off yet offense. either because he hasn't right. had a quarterback, but. It took Njoku a little bit of time, It takes tight too. ends time yeah. to develop. But it's still, I'm, I'm just saying, when you look at the great, te- the great teams, you know, the, when Brady and Gronk, now it's Mahomes and and Kelsey. Yeah. I just think that, you know, and I think we've got our guy in in uh, Njoku already. 